friend here Greetings Let me have a look at your stock I am very poor my character is very poor, I just lost something. Take care. Okay. Okay. Let's choose one quest to do. While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt it always lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog.
It's okay, what? You're gonna ghost me. Vicky, you can't ghost me. We're in the same house. Ghost. Hulu, 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 hulu. Yeah, let's finish this quest with this witch. But his friend came yesterday. I think yesterday. Or today. Can't really recall. A light. Top floor of the tower. Is there any more monsters here? Okay, is there any monsters here? Oh snap! Should I kill this witch? Maybe I should die. Uh, uh, let me just kill her on my own. Here are Mets. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. You're a vile, two-faced, four-tongued viper. Oh, Geralt. Shame you didn't talk that way when we fucked. All jokes aside, what are you going to do with those notes? Do you really believe you can call me names and then revert to polite conversation just like that? Get out of my sight, before I give in to my urge to teach you some manners. I'll go as soon as you hand me those notes. Then you shall stay here forever. Crazy the B word. <laughs> Didn't have to end this way. Well, all jokes aside, you're a dead woman now. Corpse must have come here a while after the nobleman's death.
cut by my channel. I don't think I'll play Gwent. Oh. Wait a minute, are you a merchant? Buy in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. Whither do you come from, and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As have I, as do I. Not the best place for a traveling peddler. Profits lie amidst risk. True, the wars brought strife and hardship, but folk live on. And where there is life, there is trade. Prepared to risk your life for a bit of coin? Coin, my friend, is of little import. Hard as I try, I simply cannot remain still, so I wander and wander the world. I see new places, speak with folk I've never known, it's what I like, and that's worth the risk. Hmm. Take a peek if you don't mind. Hello to myself. I know this. Hello to my guys. <clears throat> Can you craft me something? Yeah. Got this diagram. Think you can forge the weapon? Notice myself sensational. Okay, time to go. So long. Yeah. So long.
past. Ought to just destroy it. Bless you. Okay, the road is closed. Let me get down. your concern need to talk to him open the gate not a chance we heard what happened at the crossroads we'll not let a man like that in here won't get in that way gotta find another ought to look among the villagers might find one brave enough to help me to panic and run when I appear. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. 
you didn't. Oh, I, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid wouldn't work. The skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? You can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Just looking to make some coin, or is there another reason you're helping me? What you did at the crossroads, that's why they won't let you in, right? The innkeep? My sister's husband. Won't finagle any coin out of me. If there's another way in, I'll find it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So, change your mind. A bit of coin and I'll tell you how to get in. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the Lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again, then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks. As I go, yeah. I'm playing the story as I go, so let me. I know I can ride a horse, but I don't know we run. Oh, it's kind of popular. I thought it was new. somewhere around here. Bosta, six summers. A storm, damn it.
close. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are, but since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well, then let's discuss it. One thing, you do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. I'll kill this mother this guy. Make yourself at home. They would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp.
said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. You can calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet, but I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. Claws. Look! They 
is something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Shot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? Hmm. Belly's all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this.
All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. See just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've I'd not this, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested.
So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. Watch your tone, Witcher. Remember you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. <sighs> what if I refuse? Because I just don't want to. Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long <clears> ago, <throat> peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women? Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her... things. Nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? I wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horses, but they know <coughs> their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. 
Saw a dear trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Sense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Get out of my sight. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Altar. So, the Eternal Fires made it to Velen.
The Baron and his wife <laughs> look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Get out of my sight. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Nothing here for you. <laughs> so Siri was here. Obscurity of curses mm. by the event dedication to the Baron and his wife. Let's see, get this. They had friends in high places in Vizima. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. You're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did? Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. 
Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Gonna kill the monsters. All of them. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you're just... Alter. So, the Eternal Fires made it to Velen. Out of my sight. Done poking around. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Can't help thinking I've missed something. Need to take another look. Little pr. 
prick. Kill the monsters, all of them. Geralt! Thanks, Gretka. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Taylor's out his shy. Hey! Uh, oh, let me. Uh, hello! Ah. Yeah. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. <clears throat> Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. 
And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! I'll have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet.
nothing here for you. Slurps a jug of charred spirit and don't even What are you doing, boy, lad? Why are you dropping out to find that shit? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bring the spirits, lad. Get two to one. Nice tits on it. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Show me what you got. Show me what you got. See ya. assist you. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately. Snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? Comfortable, strong, and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when they talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. How may I assist you? 
Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Quite alert, my man's got to watch it, you clod. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? My lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Like to take a look.
pass his whip like an elven lad whore. You surprised? I tried to dance with Witcher. Where did he come from? Can we talk? Aye. Long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Baron back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you going to race? Stuttering Mama Mamatko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll s s say I'll, 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 ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Unearthly witcher senses, they prattle on about them. Yet you just got outrun by a common grunt. Lost your gold? But get some more, and I'll arrange a rematch. All right. All right. Who else is racing? So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? Stuttering mama. I'll take stuttering Matt. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's set the.
While searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Unearthly witcher senses, they prattle on a... So, what'll it be? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? I'll take stuttering Matt. Well, come on! That's it, Roach. Felt like taking a shortcut, clever boy. We don't tolerate none of that shite. You will... What? All right. Who else is racing? So, what'll it be? Gonna run... Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. <clears throat> Good day, grey one. So, who are you going to race? I'll take stuttering Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on.
Unearthly witcher sense it. All right. Who else is racing? So, what'll it be? Wanna sign up? Don't. Good day, grey one. So. I'll take stuttering. Yeah, yeah, come on. Nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Who else is racing? Move it! Is it a hard to a hard? I hear the snow. We'll shovel it. We had more to eat, Ow! so we gave him up.
What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either velen has got a bumper crop of witches, or oh, this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads! friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? 
Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost. Lost. Must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. Another clue. Another clue. Let's go see the Beller. Come on, damn it.
Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Bear! Bear! Run! I'll help you go. I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Nowhere in sight. Nowhere to be found. Why not even a white wolf can make a man missing goat? No princess! Flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or 
forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. So long.
Take it easy. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? You want They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick!
They ran from you, didn't they? Lying sick! Oh, come on! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. So I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Don't much care what you have to say. I'm supposed to find your family, and I will, with your dead baby's help. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me.
What would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. It'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. The merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck.
it again! Like a dafty! It worked. It stopped. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... It's a girl. What would Anna have named her? You killed my child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you, not kill it. Shut up before you wake someone. Last thing we need is a crowd. Fuck it. I don't blow and care, hear me? You killed my child. I killed a botchling. Your daughter died a while back. Go home. 
Get yourself together. I'll try to find your other daughter, the one who's still alive. What? What will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Faster. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood. 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 The Pella knows. Knows the ritual. Ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. 
All right, let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go? No, nah, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. All this the Baron's land? It is now. It were not before. So who did it belong to? To the Lord. Sarah, they call him. An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all, while the Lord in abundance wallowed there in the Tower of Mice. The old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Then, the Lord and all his court they devoured. Local gods just aren't known to be tolerant. Elf Guardians hate you pretty hard. Folk are poor here. It's where the mighty concern themselves with the poor. But the invaders will be punished. That's sure. Perchance they've already been. How's that? Pestilence grips their camp and will devour them all. As the mice devoured the Lord's court. Nearly there. Nearly there. What is this place? Shh. The Wolf and Glade. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. Aye, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. Here. The place. What now? Light the fires. All right. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. Ready. The fires. Watch them. Let nothing break the circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it, I'm supposed to keep the fires lit. Summons me, the thick flow. 
Lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. Thorny boughs snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Voitek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child without the blood? Nay is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of elder blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? seen what he was meant to say. What did you see first? The Pella saw the Baron and Mrs. Anna. They quarreled. He did not wish for her to leave. He shook her, but the Pella sensed no anger in him. He wounded her, and in the blood, the Pella sensed love. A love sad and tormented. didn't fully understand what the second vision was about. Anna miscarried. Blood everywhere. Suffering, the Pella felt it on her. She died her daughter's death. Third vision seems most important. They were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? If Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. This Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek. Wojtek. Two Wojteks have we nearabouts. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, as for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. He 
You don't look like you can get home on your own. I'll walk you. Thank you. No, thank you for your help. Let's go. That's it, Roach. Come on now. Yeah? Got this diagram. Think you can forge the web? So long. Buy in or show me what you've got on offer. So long.
slow now. Whoa. Halt! Stand in duel! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. At your service. Let's get this over with. Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. And I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Something's not right, going the wrong way. Show me what you got.
just destroy it. That's it, Roach. <laughs> Run, Roach. Go, go. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Wojtek. I... I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height. About twenty. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna... That's another time. Though any words better than the crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah... Uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had had risen high, and still they hadn't come. I began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. 
The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. How you like that silver? 